Never had I met with such impertinence. That this Zachariah, my inferior, a cook, should tell such a slanderous tale of violence and cruelty regarding Captain Jaggery to me, as though it were a confidence, was deeply mortifying. I would not, could not believe it. You can imagine, then, my relief at being rescued by Mr. Hollibrass. With head held high and fingers smoothing dress and hair as best I could, I hurriedly followed the first mate from the galley to the captain's cabin at the far end of the steerage, under the ever-watchful eyes of the crew. More than once I touched the dirk that lay in my pocket. I was resolved to give it to the captain. Whether or not I should tell the captain what I'd just heard was a more delicate question. To confess that I'd even been spoken to in such an offending fashion would have made me feel acutely uncomfortable, but not to speak of it would smack of complicity.